This is the main page of the W Store, where it is possible to find the top rated and the newest offerings. From this view, it is also possible to browse the rest of the offerings. Select the number of offerings you want to see per page, and sort the displayed offerings attending to different criteria. This is the catalog view, which contains the offerings of this user, including the purchased ones, as well as the ones being offered since the user acquired the role of provider and started to create them. W Store users can create offerings from the catalog view. First of all, she has to create the resources she wants to link to the offering and provide the required information. This includes a MIME type identifying the type of resource. It is possible to provide a URL pointing to the resource. Or, as in this case, it is also possible to directly upload the resource. The registered resources can be seen in the Provider Option menu. It is possible to switch between the different organizations the user belongs to. Once the user has created the necessary resources, she can proceed and create the offering through the Provider Options menu. The user has to complete the offering info. Include the logo. Include some optional images. And specify an optional URL where the W Store will notify ulterior purchases of the offering. Later, she has to provide the USDL description for that offering. It is possible to upload an existing USDL document describing the offering info. Or, alternatively, Provide the URL of the repository where the USDL could be downloaded. It is also possible to create a simple USDL by using the form. Only free and single payment models are allowed in this method. It is also possible to provide a legal clause. Then she selects the IDM applications associated to the offering in order to enable access control, accounting, etc. No IDM application is needed for this offering. Later, she selects the different downloadable resources to be included in the offering. The offering has been created using the information included in the USDL document. However, this offering is not on sale yet. On the contrary, it is still editable. The offering information is distributed in the different tabs. To freeze the offering status and start selling it, it is necessary to get it published. When publishing an offering, it is possible to select a particular marketplace in order to make the offering visible to external potential customers. The offering is now available in the store view. W Store allows users to view their personal info, including the tax address.
to provide and modify the tax address that can be used in purchases, the user can edit the profile and fill the tax address info. To purchase an offering, it is possible to use the external button or use the button that appears in the offering details view. To purchase an offering, a tax address is needed. It is possible to enter it directly or to use the tax address previously registered. When an offering is purchased, the resources and the purchase invoice can be downloaded and the latter can be checked. The invoice contains all the data involved in the purchase. The different resources can be now downloaded. Now the offering is marked as purchased. and appears in the catalog view.